Hello everybody, we are back with another dead box. Now, this is kind of a dead box, kind of not a dead box, but I'll explain after the intro. And welcome back. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deegans, um, and it's uh, all of it's linked below. Alright, we are doing another dead box reshoot, um, but this is kind of not really a dead box reshoot. So, um, a while ago, we had gotten this, uh, we had ordered a box from Goodwill, and it needed to be... We got some stuff in there. A lot of the stuff had some uh, stains on it, so um, rather than do a video on it then, I decided to um, get everything washed and then get everything shot and listed, and then I would do a video on it. So it's kind of that. And also, there's a few other things that um, had stains on them that we tried to get out that we washed, and now we're going to see how everything turned out. So if you look over here, this is something from the Goodwill box. Um, now this actually didn't go through the wash because it is, uh, if I can get it out of here, oh, here, I'm just gonna, oh, there we go. I didn't wash this because it's new of tags. Uh, so this is a Milu, um, and, well, I can't really see the size, um, while it's on the mannequin, but it's, being that it fits, um, it's probably a medium, so, this is a nice, um, yeah, nice workout shirt, um, so, it should do pretty good in the summer, um, definitely something you could wear out, um, out and about, uh, while you're on a jog, so, okay, oops. Isn't that nice? That's a great thing to have in the video. I don't want to put that on my eye. There. But we'll just slide her back here and we'll look at these pants. Now these pants should look familiar. Um, they came from a... I believe they were from a... Um, I believe they're from a Thread Up box. Um, but they were from a Thread Up box or a reseller box. Um, Anyway, they did have a stain on the um, bottom, which I really should not put these on the mannequin because you can't see the stain. So let me just do more of this. And uh, yeah, the stain was right there. And now, you know, I sprayed it with our um, all of our secret chemicals, um, mostly just shout. Um, and you can barely if it even focuses it's still there slightly but it's looking much better so definitely glad I watched that we should now be able to sell those um, without a problem um, let me just look at the brand on these uh, these are a life's dolter um, size 4 pair of plaid pants so um, this yeah we get the uh, we just do the industrial strength um, shout for most of the stains um, as long as the thing is not say dry clean only um, it's dry clean only we um, yeah we really have nothing we do with it right now uh, but these were these were just machine wash so glad we got the stain out all right let's look at some of these other ones now this is going to be a mix of things that were already shot and stained and things that just um and things that were just, hmm. it's going to be a mixture of things that we've already that you've probably already seen things that you haven't seen and things that actually didn't get washed because they came from the, in the box but they were new of tags all right up first are these pair of uh well i guess I'm, i call them i'm just going to call them yoga pants uh they are in fact 
Lululemon, um, size 10. Um, so, yeah, a pair of Lululemon yoga pants, uh, plain black. So those, Lululemon um, has done pretty well for us. Um, these actually, uh, probably I'm gonna have to um, have to make sure to dust them off because they got some uh, they got some fibers from the other stuff in the box. Um, but Lululemon has done extremely well for us, so I think those will do really nice. Okay, up next we have another new with tags, um, Milieu. Um, and this is a kind of a sports brawl top. Um, what size does it say? What size it is? Um, small. Um, so it's um, kind of the same alley as this. I uh, guess you could wear this to work out in. It does have um, it does have a zipper in the back that does go all the way. All the way down, and it's kind of a maybe it's a little bit long to be a sports bra, but probably a little bit short to be a shirt. So I don't know. Depending on depending on how warm it gets, you could probably wear that when you're out for a run, or wear it underneath something when you're also out for a run. <laughs> okay. Up next, we have a Zach and Rachel small um, pink. Sure. Now, this one, um, yeah, you can see right there the stains did not come out. Um, so, yeah, this is probably going to end up either getting redonated or um, sold at a deep discount because, yeah, it looks like it looks like it was ink or something. It just um, couldn't get it out. So. It, it was from a it was from a Goodwill box. It was pretty cheap. I don't know exactly how much my wife paid for it. Um, I believe it was only like twenty bucks, so not really a big loss there, considering how many pieces were um, in the box. All right, up next we have this um, this Roxy top uh, oh, strapless dress strapless we'll call it a strapless sundress um and i don't um yeah i don't remember where the uh, stain was on this so um yeah uh i do remember i do remember this cut this did not come from this uh goodwill box because i remember making a i remember shooting a video on this so i believe this was from a thread up or a reseller box it's hard to tell um but I definitely remember this being in a previous video. All right. Up next we have this. Um, oh, what is this? This is a Romeo plus Juliet. This is a off the shoulder top. Um, again, I don't remember where the stain was on this, but I know this was from a previous video. Um, so. Yeah, it's um. Actually, I can demonstrate this right now if you will hold on a second. All right, and there we go. So as you can see, I can't really get the off-the-shoulder look on the mannequin uh, because you kind of need arms for that. Uh, the mannequin doesn't have arms, so. Um, you know, it's probably it's definitely something we'll have to look into um, in the future. Maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get just a full body mannequin um, for these things, um, or maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get another torso, but one that has arms. Um, I don't know, but it's definitely um, is an issue when, on the few items we get that are meant to be kind of off the shoulder items. But um, this particular one, uh, because it does have sleeves and because the, sl the Sleeves are relatively. Um, oh, here. Let me see. Maybe if I. Does that look better? No, that looks that looks worse. So. There. Huh. Okay. Bad example because the um, the neck on this one is just elastic enough to actually hold. Um, yeah, I'm gonna even have to reshoot this because uh, I don't think I got that before. Huh. 
learn something new every day. All right, moving right along, we have this, um, what is this? This is a Casper small shawl, and it has this, um, yeah, has this pattern on it. Um, again, I do not remember where the stain was on this. Um, so I can't really say if it came out in the wash or not. Um, is it there? No, that was just the light playing tricks on me. Yeah, um, so happy that stain came out of that. All right, we just have a few more items in here. Um, oh no, we don't, we have a lot more. Okay, this actually did come from the uh, thread up box and this is new with tags. This is a uh, Jones, New York um, size. USS, so it's size small, and it's a pair of um, uh, navy pants. Now this does, um, I'm looking at the off screen at the camera here, and they appear to be black on the camera, but they are in fact navy, um, so it's mostly because of the, the contrast with my webcam. Um, when I take pictures, I do occasionally have to play with the settings to try to get them to look to try to get the pictures to look as much in the picture as they do to the naked eye. Um, so it's, and then my wife will, um, she will um, do a little bit of, uh, not, not photoshopping, but um, I think it's Lightbox is what she uses now. I don't know, she just got an iPhone for um, Mother's Day um, because my kids love her. Um, anyway, so she uses that now to do um, photo editing. And she loves it. My kids are one and three, so I don't know where they got the money for that. Probably should check my credit card. Okay, up next we have a pair of pants. These are Fig and Flower. And once again, as is the theme of this video, these were washed and I don't know where the stain was. So, and oh my goodness, they are screwing with my camera. Okay. I wonder if it recorded that. All right, seeing as I don't know if my um, webcam is screwing up or if it's just these pants messing with the autofocus, I will speed things along. Okay, we only have two more pieces. Um, the first piece is this um, Liz Sport um, top. Um, this is a knitted sweater, a knit, I guess you call it, uh, let's see, yeah, it was um, knit. This is, yep, it's knit. Um, and I don't know, I don't believe this actually went through the wash because there, I don't think there was a stain on it. Um, so I think this was this was just part of the box. And lastly, we have this um, Bowden T-shirt. Now, when I saw this first, I just thought, oh, it's a regular plain yellow T-shirt. But that um, Bowden is um, apparently a really good brand. Uh, this is an extra small, um, and uh, I'll demo. Okay, let's. Uh, as you can see, the, the label said extra small, but as you know, the mannequin's a medium. So I don't know if Bowden uses um, vanity sizes or if this is more of like a sleepwear type thing, but um, yeah. That's definitely um, definitely something we should probably put measurements on before we um, before we list it. Now, I I don't remember. Once again, I do not remember where the stain was on this, but um, I don't see it. Uh, just looking over this real quick. So it came out. I'm glad it came out because that Bowden is apparently a really good brand. Um, so definitely happy to have more of that in the closet. And in case you're wondering as to why I haven't stood up in this video, it's because I'm not wearing pants. 
And on that note, if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, all that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.